Friends, there's a place outside of Clarksville, Tennessee, or right at the edge of it, called Dunbar Cave. So we're going to see if they're open. Like there's a lot of people here. It's a golf course here as well. Actually, I'm trying to stop at the golf course, and Dunbar Cave is further up. <laughs> Way to pay attention. Look at that water out there. It's just beautiful. Pretty nice place. Dunbar Cave State Park, established in 1973. And look, there's a 70s Lincoln Continental. Pretty nice, I must say. So let's just see what's going on here. Stay tuned. So we're right out here, and the cave is in the back of where that water is. They call that Lake Trail and Swan Lake. So it's back up in there. And they told me to bring a flashlight because they don't provide them. What I love is there was Lincolns like this one in this parking lot in the 70s. Man, that's a good looking car. Love that. Talking about the different stalactites and stalagmites and formations of water cycle. What's interesting? 1931, a Clarksville businessman purchased a property and formed a bar cave. Became a stomping ground for big band music. They actually played music in there. One of their most popular sites. After World War II, country music parks began to appear around the nation. Roy Acuff purchased this cave in 1948. He sold more records than any other country star in the 1930s and 40s. He was a feature performer at the opera. He offered fewer big bands and more country music in front of the cave entrance. Square dances were held in the open air dance floor. Shows featured Roy Acuff and the Smoky Mountain Boys were broadcast live through WSM in Nashville. They offered regular performances in the 3,000 seat country music pavilion at the Lake Shore. Roy Acuff also arranged for operating performers to headline the cave performances. And that is a thing being done even today. So friends, check this out. Beautiful little lake out here. So people spent a lot of time out here back in the day. A lot of music here. It looks like a really cool place to have a concert. And that's starting to kind of be a thing nowadays. So We'll cruise out here and look first, and then we'll go down to the cave. That's the golf course I almost turned in over there. So there's the cave I'm heading to out in there. This is a really cool looking place. I'm standing here and you can see that there's rocks, walls built up there. There's things built up on the side of the hills over there. Very interesting looking place. Sadly, the cave is closed right now, but we'll be able to get close. So here's an example of a thing. There's a stairway going up. I'm gonna go up the stairs and see what this looks like up here. 
I'm sure over the years there was all kinds of structures. Yep, this is a, a building. It looks like it may have even been a bathroom. Those are gas lines. Definitely a bathroom. Just drain plumbing. got off the road, let those people go by. So I don't like people behind me, because then I feel rushed filming. And I'm, I'm not a AM talk show legend, so I shouldn't feel rushed. So when it rains, the water will spill down here, and go right into the little lake. The lake's looking a little rough, a little low, but I think the water's low everywhere right now. Right up here's they would have square right up here's where they would have square dances and bands play. And people would dance out in here, which is pretty cool. This is a beautiful place. Once owned. The original stream came out of the cave. It was stamped in 1926 to make Swan Lake, which was enlarged. So that's what it did look like. And now this is what it looks like. Beautiful. So it was just a stream. And there was a cabin right over here on this side. So when we go back down that path, we'll look to see if we can find the foundation and see where it was. somewhere on this side. In Dunbar Cave, the resort years, a wooden dance floor with seating, early 1900s. And you can see the cave. 1880s, green was spread on the floor for barn dances and social activities. It says brand dances, such as teas and bridge games took place in the cool cave entrance. Sick and invalid persons were brought here for relief from summer's heat. Dancing was not popular at the cave entrance. Notice the new flat concession stand roof in this image. You can see the roof Mom, we up there, saw that. which is right there. Mom, we saw this. Remember? Mom, Mom, we saw from the bandstand, this. lighting aloud for nighttime Mom, dances. We saw this. But high humidity Remember? kept calfskin drums and guitars That's from staying scary. in tune. I can see that. Oh, that's that's inside the cave. That, that's scary. Look. Oh, no. We right. saw this. In the front. There was a tree. We saw this animal. What did you just do? Mommy. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> Alright, come on. So you can see this tree right here. Them. It was right there. Well, they filled it in with concrete. And that's where the tree was, concession stand. There was an earlier one built that was built where this is, but they had a different style roof on it. So that's the early version of it right there. And then they put a flat roof on it like that.
shocked that little girl knocked over was that it was standing up. And boy, it was loud. It was a big old rock. Glad it didn't land on it. But they said they shut the cave down. So people, so the bats could do their thing this time of the year, this part of the season. So this is May, 1st of May to the end of September. This says consider donating. I'm going to donate some. This is what it looks like. see anything in there not much and they were saying something about when you get to the where the leap is it was signed by a civil war person at some point but this thing's been closed up a little while but Roy Acuff was here no doubt yes he was not maybe he was here, no, for sure. Yeah. Pretty cool place, I must say. <laughs> so we'll go in the concession stand and see what it looks like. This is built right into the side of the rock, which is pretty nice. And they're doing a photo shoot out here, beautiful family. I'll have a Coke. All right, here you go, sir. How about some chips? A little dip? I'd love to have some chips and dip. Top and see the the flat roof up here you saw in those photos. Love this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna walk down this side, see if we can see the foundation where that cabin was, and go across the bridge. It looks like it's all new out there. Stay tuned. And it says, keep out, no climbing, no climbing, friends, no, hey, if you think about climbing, nope. So let's go look at those photographs. So this says the Dunbar Cave, the resort years. Wooden dance floor with seating early. You see, this is wood in here. Later, they poured concrete. They built a wooden floor here. 1880s, grain was spread on the brand dances, actually barn dances, and social activities such as tea and bridge games took place in the cool cave entrance. Sick and invalid persons were brought here for relief from the summer's heat. They would take them inside the cave because you know that the temperature inside the cave remains constant. Dancing was popular at the cave entrance. Notice the new flat concession stand roof in this entrance. In this image. Spider. 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 I like the salamander. I like the spider. This right here. Says dancing was popular at the cave entrance. Notice the new flat concession stand roof in this image. 
See it right there, and you can see the roof up there. And the bandstand to the right with the canopy cover. You can see the bandstand is, or I'm sorry, the bandstand here, they're saying there. Then you see the concession stand to my left. And this right here is the concession stand before it was shaped like this. It was when it was just that and it had a different style roof. They added on to it and changed it to a flat roof. You can see it there. Pretty cool stuff. And then they talk about all the different things. There's the, the bat that they're talking about. Part of the cave light has temperature differences and some protection from weather. As you look into the cave, you will see the twilight zone with less light temperature change. Many plants and animals live in or visit the entrance and twilight zone of the cave. As you look around, you might see cave crickets, water pimpernel, it's like the scarlet pumpernickel, nursery spider, millipede, salamander, pickerel frog, but this is why they closed the cave for the bats. And then they're talking about the dance floor sealed and protected archaeological digs under until this dig. Let's see, the dance floor sealed and protected archaeological deposits until the dig. Looks like they dug up here and actually did archaeological digs and then poured the concrete back. That's a soil removal screen to find tools such as a projectile points, bone awls, and shellfish hooks, picture, pottery, and other objects left by the people who lived here many years ago. And then they try to pretend like they know about this stuff. I don't pay attention to that because they don't know about it. This is all made up. Even the look of that, that's all made up. They have no idea. But this gives you an idea of Dunbar Cave. Beautiful place. So we're going to walk down and go under and then make our way down that trail on that side over there. I hate to break people's hearts, but the look of a dinosaur is absolutely just made up. They find bones and then they reconstruct it based off of what they think it would look like, not anything else. So they are nothing but, I wouldn't even call them a hypothesis because you can't really be educated on a dinosaur. But this is up under. You can see they patch holes and there's still holes up there today. This is up under. Roy A. Cup owned this place, friends. This is pretty cool. I'm sure that he enjoyed coming out here and playing music. This is part of his jam. I've always thought about owning a cave, believe it or not, because it's the same temperature year-round, safe. I really like the idea of it. So I'm going down this side. Just beautiful. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool, I must say. So that family's over there doing pictures. And the lake level will go up, of course, after it rains a bunch. And when that happens, I believe that this was where that cabin was. You can see a little bit of foundation. The one that you see on the left, you can see there's some foundation left. Maybe, but it was definitely on this side, but that's a possibility. And it also looks like you can see some areas up there that they could have had things built, but the cabin was close to the water on this side, so I think maybe this would be part of the foundation. So I am coming up on the bridge. This looks like this is fairly new construction where they've made it where you can come out here and walk across. Now, it may have had a bridge here before, which is what I suspect. We'll zoom in. There's a turtle out there on the log. We'll zoom in on it. Heard of a bump on the log. Well, there you have one. He's sleeping. No, he's not. He's, that one's sleeping.
amazing they just stand up and sleep with their head in. I kind of do that with a pillow though, but I don't stand up. All right, we're going to cross the bridge. You know how you say, I'll cross that bridge when I get there? Well, we're here. You could see where there was a, a drive through. There used to be a path here, I think, maybe where you could drive a car through to get to the cave. There's a fence down there, a gate. You see it right there? Maybe there was an entrance at some point. See where they built up a rock bed on top and then they poured uh, asphalt on top of that. So I think it used to be just the bottom part right there. And they decided to build it up, probably to make it higher than the water when the water rises at the normal level. There's that gate I was talking about. So there it is, friends. Dunbar Cave is right back there where that's at. That's the dance floor on the top. And they also had it where you could dance actually on top of the concession stands up there and the cave entrance is in the corner on the right. It's supposed to be a big old cave in there. We'll have to come back sometime when it's open. Thanks so much for watching. I don't know much, but I do try to explore caves in Clarksville, Tennessee. Yes, I do. I tightened up and came to Dunbar Cave, Foxville, Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> you really stretch out like this, yeah. okay? Watch me. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and watch the Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.